All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for being on this very special call here on a Monday morning. It is February 21st, 2022. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us. And as we always begin, why are we here besides a paycheck? We are here to improve the lives of our community with affordable health care. Thank you for being a part of that mission and thank you for helping our community. We appreciate that. As, uh, as normal, you know, we do have trainings out there. We've got quite a bit of trainings that are starting to pop up. So I'm going to share my screen. And as a reminder, guys, if you do not have access to the train, the training calendar that I am about to share, please make sure that you reach out to a team member at HPM so we can sync it to your uh, phone, laptop, or iPad, whichever you're using uh, to, you know, best organize yourself. So today, this morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Central Florida Freedom uh, will be in attendance at the Panera Bread in Winter Garden. Um, they're there to help you with any DSNP or CSNP information that you might have. And it looks like Matesh will be there um, from 9 a.m. until about 10 o'clock this morning. Moving on to 11 o'clock, Devoted is doing a coffee and chat session. Um, this time, talking about marketing and selling Medicare Advantage. So if you need a little uh, boost on that. That is today at 11 o'clock. Also today at 1 o'clock, we are doing a, an ACA training for 2022. That is at 1 p.m. today, so get your updates. We're going to talk a little bit about that this morning as well. So if you're in the ACA space, there's been some updates I'm going to share with you today and then also on these trainings this week. So ACA training is going to happen today at 1, also tomorrow at 7 p.m., also on Thursday at 9 o'clock. Friday at 4.30, and we are doing Saturday sessions now, right now, ACA is at 2 o'clock. So if you are interested to learn a little bit more about ACA, please join on one of those trainings, and we're happy to help you with that. Uh, also today at 3 o'clock, we've got two trainings. One of them is for the Humana DSNP. So if you are interested in learning more about Humana's DSNP, this is across the country, uh, join that at 3 o'clock. Uh, or if you've already done that, you can join Clever RX. This is the discount prescription drug card that we've been working with. This is a lead gen machine. Let me repeat that. This is a lead generation machine. Learn how that works so you can understand how you can generate leads with this prescription drug card. That's today at 3 p.m. Last training for today is the HPM Shop Live training 2022. That's today at 7 p.m. We're hosting those. Uh, overview sessions across the week. So today at 7, Wednesday at 9 a.m. We also have got another one at Thursday at 1 o'clock. And then we've got another one there on Saturday at 1030. So lots of opportunities to join on one of those trainings as well. Moving on to tomorrow, the 22nd, there's a deep dive on HPM Shop. This is a, uh, a webinar that we're going to go to to talk more about the features of HPM Shop. So if you've got that overview down or you need a refresher, this is a great opportunity to do so. That's at uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Moving over to Wednesday, the 23rd, Devoted's doing their coverage for veterans. And we've talked deep about uh, the coverage, uh, or for veterans rather, we've talked quite a bit about uh, that niche market and how well you can do if you really serve veterans. Some of you are veterans. Thank you for your service, but you should definitely think about servicing your um, your your co um, veterans as well because these folks need help. You know, um, and we'll talk more about that down the road. But veterans are a huge part of the Medicare system and can really use some guidance. You know, especially if they're not really happy with the VA. So something to think about there. Also on Wednesday at three o'clock, Humana is doing another DSNP training and how you can help the community. This is kind of our backbone at HPM. You know, uh, I always love seeing these trainings and especially with the DSNP market. So check that out as well. Uh, Wednesday at seven o'clock, there's that Clever RX training again. There's a couple of these sessions I'm gonna mention across the week. So Wednesday at seven, Thursday at noon, Friday morning at 11, and then a Saturday session at 1 p.m. So those are the those are those sessions there. So check that out. Thursday, the 24th, we've got Palick Training. That's the Philadelphia life insurance company that is helping us with a 
non-ACA plan, so individual and family plan option. It is underwritten, but it does give clients money back into their check if they do not spend the top dollar that's been negotiated at the doctor's offices and hospitals. Yes, your money, your your clients get money back for using the plan. Pretty interesting. So check that out if you if you haven't checked out Paylick. That's at ten fifteen Thursday the twenty fourth. Also on the twenty fourth, you've got Devoted's coffee and chat session in Jacksonville at eleven thirty. Jump in on that, and we are happy to help you with that as well. Uh, Humana OEP and beyond. We're going to talk about OEP this morning because I'm getting a lot of questions about who can change, who cannot change. And Centene WellCare put out a great document that they emailed to you uh, last week. But I'm going to pull that up and kind of go through it because I know some of you are very busy and you didn't have a chance to check your email. So <laughs> please remember that's part of our jobs here, folks. All right. So uh, Humana OEP and Beyond is Thursday at 1 p.m. So make sure you do that. And uh, moving on to Friday, another veteran training with Devoted at 9 o'clock. And guys, even if you don't write Devoted specifically and you just want to learn more about uh, veterans, these are great trainings. These are great trainings. But they'll give you a little bit of insight on how Devoted inter interlinks with those veterans that are looking for your assistance and looking for a good Medicare Advantage plan. So check that out. Okay. Um, on Friday, last week, we had a very special guest from Humana. Uh, Mr. Rafelis, who is ha has replaced Jesse in our Central Florida role here as broker manager. He also serves for Humana and Care Plus. So both of those organizations, he's taking care of our agents and making sure that you've got what you need. So he's doing virtual office hours, looks like on Friday for our team at 11 a.m. And so it doesn't matter where you are in the country. Um, so if you just need a little bit of help with Humana, his resources are, are far reaching uh, with Humana. Or if you need help with Care Plus, you have the opportunity to do that as well. So for Care Plus, uh, he can help you. So that is Friday at 11 o'clock. Mark your calendar. And uh, you should have his contact information. But again, you can just jump on the calendar and attend at 11. So shouldn't be an issue there. Uh, also on Friday, another deep dive session at 1 o'clock for HPM Shop. Again, we're hosting that on Saturdays as well. That's at uh, 11.30 on Saturday, so if you need that, um, please jump in there. And then last training for the week to highlight on Friday, Devoted is doing another marketing and selling Medicare Advantage plan. If you've kind of hit your plateau in marketing, lead generation, you guys really need to start attending these trainings because, you know, it, I could tell you, you know, I can't tell you one way to make 100 sales but I can tell you a hundred ways to make one. And that's really what you need to be doing um, in this business because, you know, it, there's so many different ways to get people's attention and to market yourself. And uh, I, I usually only see folks that are kind of doing the business or doing one or two things that might be working. And, um, and when I have that conversation, like, Hey, look, you really should try this or that. No, no, no. But when I see people that do try it, try new things, try do new marketing opportunities, try to get into doctor's offices, for instance, which is going to be a big thing for us this year, um, I'm seeing results. I'm seeing additional uh, enrollments. So open your mind, you know, take that red pill like like in the matrix, you know. So you've got that available to you. So, you know, please take advantage. All right, moving on. Let's talk a little bit about ACA this morning. We've got um, a special election period. And I'm going to share my screen because this was a, a, an email that was sent out to uh, by Health Sherpa. So Health Sherpa is our per, uh, preferred uh, enrollment tool that we use in order to help people shop, quote, and enroll on the Health Sherpa, or I'm sorry, on the marketplace. Um, so I'm going to share my link with this. This is a frequently asked questions page article um, that they are using to answer some questions regarding um, SEPs with the marketplace. And one big one that's coming up is the um, uh, the, the SEP around 150% of federal poverty level. And we're going to talk a little bit about that, but I wanted to share this resource. I, I 
went and put the link in the chat. So go ahead and click that link and you'll, you'll be able to save the page that I'm on today. Um, but you have a lot of special election periods available um, across, uh, you know, now that open enrollment has ended for individual and family plans. Okay. So something to think about here is if you are marketing yourself, you're going to bump into individuals that are asking for individual and family plans. And you're really going to need to make sure that um, you know what you're doing there. Okay. Because we, we only had until November 1st to December 15th. Okay. So let me, let me just share with you a couple of uh, special election periods, probably the, probably the most common that are happening here before I talk about the 150 uh, poverty level, okay? So there are actually 19 different qualified life events or QLEs, qualified life events. And these are SEPs, just another fancy word for SEPs is qualified life events. And they're broken down into different categories. So loss of qualifying health, health coverage, and that can go in different directions, whether they you know, lost coverage because, you know, they moved or they, they, they got terminated from their job or whatever the case might be. Um, you've got loss of qualifying health coverage. You've got change in household size. So this is the tax household, okay? Change in household size. So somebody turned 26 and decided that they're going to claim themselves on their own taxes. That's a change in household size, right? Uh, somebody moved out, somebody moved in. Um, as far as taxes, go change in household size, change in primary place of living. This is, you know, fancy way of saying they moved. <laughs> uh, change in eligibility for exchange coverage or help paying for coverage. Okay. So another fancy way of saying their income's pretty much changed there too. If there was an enrollment or plan error or there's other qualifying events. Okay. Now, now here's the uh, statement that they put up. It says CMS recently announced a new SEP category for consumers that are at 150% of the federal poverty level or less. It has not yet been operationalized on healthcare.gov, um, but they but Health Sherpa will be sending some additional information later down the road. So basically what's happening here, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a moment, um, and I am going to be looking for my ACA training here because I do have a slide I want to share with you guys. Um, so basically what's happening is, is they say, look, these individuals that are um, basically uh, high risk individuals, their, their income is low. Uh, they're typically uh, experiencing some social economic issues. And because of their income being there, they've identified these people as, um, as high risk individuals in the medical system. And so because of that, they said, hey, look, you know, these people might have landed on the wrong plan. And what we want to do is we want to give them the opportunity to make a change at any time during the year. OK, let me repeat that again. These individuals that I'm about to show you can make a change at any time during the year. OK, so I'm going to pull up the slide here that shows the federal poverty level here, so bear with me. And these are the numbers, okay? So the numbers uh, show that you've got household size on the left, and then you've got the FPL at 100%, 138, and 150. So I broke it down into three categories. Um, yes, there's different percentage base across what you're looking at there. Um, but I put it in the gray there. So if you're following along online, you can see that in the gray, you've got it starting at 12,880. Okay, so for an individual, a single person that's um, at uh, $12,880 a year uh, is right on the borderline of Medicaid. So depending on your state, they may have to go ahead and apply for Medicaid uh, if they fall below that. Okay, but that's at 100% of the FPL. Um, so an individual can earn one a single person can earn up to nineteen thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. So if if you have clients or you bump into prospects that fall within these income ranges, they will be able to change right now. They will be able to enroll right now. They do not have to wait until November first. Okay, this has already been approved by CMS. So. 
A family of three can earn up to $32,940, so under $33,000. You can help them apply on, the, on, on Health Sherpa, run a quote, get them enrolled for 3-1 Effective. This is an SEP, and this is a rolling SEP for all individuals across the country that meet these income thresholds. Okay, I will be doing this training throughout the week, so that's why I mentioned that as far as ACA is concerned, and I will be distributing this guideline in that training. So please join the ACA trainings, and I will be giving you out the PDF of what I'm sharing here with you today. So that's really big news because this allows you to grow your brand. This allows you to continue to do marketing, and this allows you to earn income in lock-in, okay? So um, as you know, some of the commissions are very hefty on ACA products right now. But please be, be aware that we did mention on the previous call that there are some carriers that are reducing or eliminating commissions at this time until next year, just because that they've grown extremely fast. And, and one of them being Oscar, uh, which is you know uh, really a big product for us. Uh, the other one is Molina. So just keep in mind that those particular plans are non-commissionable as of 4-1, 4-1. But you can write them today for 3-1 um, for the last month, for the last week of the month here that we're working and get them enrolled for 4-1, okay? Now, the SEP may not reflect specifically on Health Sherpa just yet, but they are working on it because healthcare.gov hasn't operationalized it, meaning that there's no drop down box or, or button to select that this person is 150 FPL. However, we believe that it will be automatic when you start putting in their income because remember, as part of the quote, you're gonna put household size and income size, and we believe that it will automatically let you know with a pop-up that this person has an SEP, okay? That's what we believe, that's what we've been told. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're shopping. I think Health Sherpa is gonna do a great job for you. Uh, you know, and again, we're going to talk, we talk about that training, Health Sherpa, um, on the ACA trainings that I shared earlier this week. So check that out. That's big, big news, big news. Uh, take advantage of that. Okay. Uh, let's talk, let's shift gears here, um, into the Medicare space. Uh, we've got WellCare that have sent out a, a document as well. And this document is their OEP guide. So I want to share with you the OEP guide uh, that they put out because I personally think that it's a really, really good one. Um, and it's a one pager. So you can go ahead and download it, keep it in your pocket as a, as a quick reference guide or, you know, whatever it is that you're using, put it in your wallet, uh, unfold it. When you have a question, fold it back up, put it in your wallet. I'm just kidding. Save it on your phone, guys. That's the easy way, right? <laughs> uh, take a screenshot of it, you know, um, or, or however you want to sh share this document. So that way you're not bouncing around like, what can I do in Medicare OEP? Am I, am I following the marketing guidelines properly? Okay. The last thing that you want is someone that is, um, you know, uh, you know, that, that comes to you and you, and you do something wrong or it's in a gray area, We, you know, our goal as an FMO is to keep you in the green. We don't want anyone getting in trouble for uh, Section A's or CTMs, as we lovingly call them. Um, basically, no-no situations, okay? So let's talk about, let's start on a positive. What can you do? What can you discuss with your prospect during OEP, Medicare OEP? What can you do? You can proactively approach they can proactively approach you as part of your uh, usual conversations to determine eligibility. Um, so if they come up to you and they say, you know, do I qualify for an SEP? And so you can generally talk about the enrollment periods. And if they say, yes, that sounds like me, you can go ahead and get them enrolled, okay? You can discuss OEP with the beneficiary if they openly express it dis satisfaction regarding the enrollment into a plan they feel does not suit them and request assistance in finding a new plan. So as an example, 
They may not have sat with a professional to review their existing MA slash MAPD plan or made their AEP election online and did not fully understand the plan details. So let's say they didn't do anything during AEP. And I get this question a lot. Uh, what happens if they didn't make a selection? What happens if they're still on their old plan? Can they use OEP? The answer is yes. Yes, they can. They can do it because they're on an MA plan right now. They can change their MA plan up until March 31. So we've got we've got that going for us. Okay. Um, so just remember, if they say, look, I'm not happy with my plan. I want to make a change. Happy to do it. You're going to select OEP on the application inside HPM shop. Okay. All right. You can also discuss OEP with the beneficiary if they unknowingly changed plans during AEP and have requested a solution from you. Okay. So if one of your members calls you and says, hey, Justin, I messed up. I, I don't know how this happened, but I enrolled in plan X and I want to go back to my old plan. No problem. We'll get you set back up and you, you can select OEP to do that. Okay. Um, you can also talk about uh, if they express the cost of their newly joined plan is too high and they would like other options. So they saw the commercial, they talked to Joe Namath on, on TV and they said, and, and they, they promised them the world, but then when they went to the pharmacy, it's not working for them. Can they make a change? Yes, they can. OEP up until March 31. Now remember, whatever you select today, so let's say that they enroll today, uh, they make a change back to their old plan or, or pick another plan, even though they thought it was it was going to be good. Can they pick another plan? Yes. They're going to be effective first of the following month. First of the following month. So right now we're working three ones. Okay. Next month we're working four ones. Okay. Just keep that in mind. You can discuss OEP with the beneficiary if they feel that they've made a poor decision because they were pressed for time during OEP and they request your assistance. So if they felt pressured in any way, if it was December 7 and they didn't really have a lot of time to shop and they called and, you know, they jumped on a plan and they feel like they made a boo-boo, obviously that's a way that you can do it, okay? You can also discuss with them if they have been prescribed a different medication that is not covered under their new plan and ask for assistance. Um, I am currently experiencing this with my grandmother. Um, I was out of town last week, but she texted me. Yes, my 87-year-old grandmother texts me, and she says, hey, I'm having some problems with a medication. And I said, okay, great. Let's try. First of all, let's have a conversation with our doctor. Uh, did that. Um, I said, ask for samples. Did that. No luck, no luck, no luck. Okay. Uh, we tried the Clever RX discount card. Um, on that particular medication, it was very expensive. So it did help, but not to the degree that it would make a difference for her. Um, and so now we've kind of got, she does not qualify for extra help. And so now we're back at the drawing board. Hey, we need to shop for another plan. And I'm going to use HPM Shop to plug in all of her drugs via Medicare.gov. It's going to pull it down and it's going to tell me exactly what plan is going to be best for her. I don't have to sit there and research 27 plans in South Florida. I'm not going to have to do that. I have HPM shop. I just plug it, plug it right into her account with, with Medicare.gov. It's going to pull down her meds. It's going to create a profile for her and I'll have her medications forever and ever. Amen. I won't have to worry about it. And I press a button and boom, it's going to tell me exactly what plan is going to be best for her based on those meds. Okay. I hope you guys are really using that. <laughs> it's going to save me about 15 hours of work. So really excited about that. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on to the negative. OEP, um, what, you, what you, and basically this is, this is Medicare guidance, okay? So you cannot discuss OEP with a beneficiary. Let me repeat, you cannot discuss OEP with the beneficiary by knowingly targeting individuals who are eligible for an OEP or SCP. So in your marketing materials, in your conversations, you cannot say, hey, people can change one more time. That's not what this is about. This is to help people make a change if they have a boo-boo like we just discussed. Okay, <clears throat> You cannot discuss OEP with them utilizing the OEP period as an additional opportunity to make commissions. Hopefully, nobody on this call is just here to make commissions. If you are, um, I think that there's probably other organizations out there that will help you. 
Um, hopefully everyone on this call is here to help people and not put money our profits over people. That is not what we are all about. We are people over profits. So please make sure that you're not you know, thinking about your commissions before you're thinking about individuals. All right, you cannot discuss OEP with the beneficiary by mentoring by mentioning the OEP period to members who switch carriers during o AEP unless the beneficiary approaches you. That's the key there, guys. This has to be a reactive enrollment period. Reactive meaning that you're getting calls from your member saying, yeah, I messed up, okay? Um, that is how it has to go. You cannot discuss OEP with the beneficiary by posting flyers or distributing materials concerning OEP at events. And I'm gonna put an asterisk here because this wasn't really mentioned, unless it's part of your educational events. So if you're doing educational seminars, Medicare one-on-ones, obviously you're gonna be talking about the time periods and obviously one of those is OEP. But that's educational. You're not specifically marketing OEP, okay? You cannot discuss OE, OEP by probing or asking beneficiaries if they're happy with their health plan. So you can't go around saying, are you happy? No, kinda, let's talk about OEP. No, no, can't do that. You cannot discuss OEP with the beneficiary by asking if the beneficiary would consider switching to WellCare and then explaining OEP. Can't go around the, the other way. This is specifically a WellCare one, but you can change that to X plan. It's gonna be the same concept. Okay, and then finally, you cannot discuss OEP uh, by outreach to existing clientele with the intention of educating them on OEP. So again, if, you're, if your intention is to switch them, if your intention is then to educate them after the fact or educate them to get a lead, it's just not gonna work, guys. Don't do that. The last thing that you want is a member calling and complaining saying, hey, this person switched me and they made me worse off. That's not what this is all about. You know, we're here to help people. Um, we're here to improve their lives. And so don't put yourself in jeopardy when it comes to that, okay? Okay, so that is the WellCare OEP guide. Um, we're at the top of the hour, but the last thing that I wanna share with everybody is we have a special event coming up. And I wanna remind everybody that we've sent emails and text messages out uh, regarding our gala that is happening on March 23rd. So let me share the website with you. Um, if you haven't registered, please click the link in the email and text message that I've sent out to everybody. This is in Orlando. It's at a place called The Balcony, which is downtown Orlando. It's gonna be a very fun, exciting place. Uh, we have a special short, 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 short presentation, you know, I will have my slide deck. You guys know me. I've got my slides, but I'll keep it short. And uh, we're going to have dinner, drinks, music, dancing, door prizes, raffles, awards, and more. So come hang out with us. Just to please note, this is a black tie event, meaning that we need to see you in your fanciest Sunday suit, okay? Uh, or dress, of course. Um, we're going to have a cocktail hour at 5 on the 23rd um, at 6 o'clock. We've got our presentation at seven o'clock. We're gonna do dinner and, and the award show. And then at eight o'clock, I cut you guys loose and you can dance and, and have a great time. Um, we have some incredible sponsors for this event. So if you're interested in meeting some of the physicians or some of the health plan leadership, they will be in attendance. So we currently have some great sponsors, uh, Centerwell, Florida Medical Clinic, Humana, Dedicated Senior Medical Center, Simply Healthcare, Care Plus, VIP Care, Physician Partners, Freedom Health, Well Care, Village Medical, and Aegis Medical Group have all divvied up. They're gonna have a table and folks to talk to at the event as well. So uh, if again, if you haven't registered, please, 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 please check your email because we do want to make sure that everyone is in attendance as well. Okay, all right, so I got a couple of chats in here. Um, uh, MD, I got your chat here as well. Please make sure you send me an email on this so I can help you. You have a specific question about your commission, so I'm happy to help you with that. Um, so if you can send me an email, I'll, I'll do that for you. I think you got my email there. 
Um, and thank you, Tom, for putting the well care document in the gold key as well. We do appreciate that. Um, so with that, we're at the top of the hour. It is 932. I appreciate everyone for being on the call today. And just as a reminder, we are recording these. So if you are in a client meeting on Monday mornings, we understand. We want to ensure that you get the information anyway. Uh, but I very, very, very much appreciate you guys being on here live because you get them before everyone else does. So very part, proud of you guys for keeping education first. Remember, guys, one foot in the classroom and the other one in the field at all times. I hope these calls are helpful for you. But as a reminder, if you have any suggestions or thoughts on how to improve these calls, please let me know so I can make them better. Okay, I hope everyone has a fantastic selling week. It is the end of the month here, so go get them. And please let us know how we can help. Have a fantastic week. Take care, guys.